Hi, everyone. I'm excited to welcome. <laughs> there are serious debates to be had about racism but my god the world has moved and moved fast from yes, where it used to you be are part of i the don't know if you I'm think part of this, the problem. you are part of the problem peers because you are denying my lived experience I what, do you mean, what, do you, what, what do you mean i'm, den I'm not denying you're you speaking anything. over me for one well no now you're playing your old trick of being the victim and you played that very you, you immediately came out after you were fired with all the stuff about all the insults you've had and so on and so on of course you're going to get insulted i don't agree with the way they've insulted you but when you call every white person racist yes, my, mother, we're all in, my, my mother's well, right. I was going to but when you, when you say i don't have the energy to talk about the racial violence of white people anymore yes all white people when you call us a bunch of violent racists all of, us, we come from. all of us, we are going to get annoyed. You think the hundreds of thousands of people on food banks in this country, white people amongst them, are, are privileged? They have, more, they have more More privileges privilege than you? I did not say that. I did A wealthy not say supermodel? That. I did not. Uh, please show me my bank account. All right. You will make a lot of money out of this. So let me ask you again. Do you think that white people on food banks in this country are more or less privileged than you? I did not say that, Piers. I said... You just implied that. You said that no, all white people are privileged. Let me speak, please. I'm saying that if a person is at the food banks and they're white and there's their counterpart and that counterpart is black, that white person has more of a chance of getting out of that situation than their black Why? counterpart. Why? Where's the evidence for that? Because of white privilege. Really? They have, white people have more access to, ho so, to housing, so poor white to credit. People, just to clarify, poor white people have a better chance in Britain of getting out of their poverty than, than poor black people? Yes. All of them? I feel like I'm up against the wall with you, Piers. No, you're not. What you're up against is somebody challenging you on your public statements. Yes. Which you've managed to turn into a massive great story of your poor victimhood. And I'm telling you, now you're sitting here, that I think when you say all white people are racially violent, mm -hmm. that is deeply offensive. But wait, there's more. We need to be speaking about what the, what the root of racism, what the root of sexism is. And sexism doesn't come from women. So of course it's caused by men. This is a social concept. You don't think women can be sexist? I don't think that women can enforce um, misogyny. What's a like, load of nonsense? No, because it's all... You don't think any women can be women sexist? Women don't uphold the patriarchy, Piers. That is uphold not the, the case. Uphold the patriarchy. What's that? You don't know what the patriarchy is. I do, is. but explain it. The patriarchy is basically a structure that puts men at the top of power. Mm. So... The five it's, most, it's not women five, that enforce the patriarchy. The five most women powerful, don't have anything to... Um, the five most powerful people in this country currently are women. How does that how does that sit with your patriarchy? <laughs> Look, I've seen a lot Hi, of Thank you so much for having me. I've seen a lot of your clips and I can't help but think whether you actually mean half the things that you say and whether you're just trying to get attention. <laughs> Do you actually believe in what you say or are you just, just trying to stir the pot? Well, a lot of people have that reaction. A lot of people have that question. Um, I don't know why it What's should be answer? weird that a... I don't know why it should be weird that a gay guy would be skeptical or fearful of Islam. I don't see, see anything strange about a gay person liking the Bible and liking the First Amendment and liking low taxes. I don't find anything odd about me, really. Um, in order to find me peculiar or strange, or in order to think that perhaps I'm putting it on, you have to sign up to this idea of identity politics, which suggests that just because somebody is black or gay or a woman, they have to have particular political or ideological positions. I reject that idea. Well, I'm um, I don't like care my... whether you're gay or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, some of the things are just so outrageous and the way you put them on thing. Is he like a, a real life Borat that's just out there to make fun of everyone and well, what, and what and do you think is outrageous? What do you think that I've said is outrageous? Well, Give me something and I, perhaps culture, I can explain it for you've you. You've called rape culture a fantasy. You've likened feminism to cancer. You've said that women on the pill don't look Both right, them. they don't talk right. But you suggest that well, we all don't... those things are true. OK, you said that <laughs> all you those say... Things are true. Do you really rape believe Rape culture on American college campuses, uh, you know, to say that there is a rape culture implies that there is a system or an environment which encourages rape. That doesn't exist on American college campuses. And just to believe in the statistics that feminists peddle, that's one in four, one in five women is going to be sexually assaulted, 
conducted in her time on campus, you'd have to believe that American college campuses have rape rates that approach those of the Congo, where rape is used as a weapon of war. We don't reward rapists in our society. We put them in prison. On the feminism question, women agree with me. Four-fifths of American women do not describe themselves as feminist, and just 7% of British women describe themselves okay. as feminist. I would imagine that Australia, being a very sensible country, would share those views too. It's only journalists who insist on political yes, positions I've, and insist on feminism in public. I've Actual people at that. home I've agree with me. I've heard you say that with, with almost every interview that I saw you, you do. Um, but on well, your well, statement... Then you should ask different questions, darling. <laughs>
It's that continuous cycle of racism that explains where we are now. Why does the UK acknowledge the sacrifice of people killed in wars, but not the spilled blood of black? If the UK took our oppression seriously, then people like me who call out racism would be listened to rather than ridiculed or threatened with death. If white people want to see an improvement for people of colour, they need to understand that racism is not learned, it's inherited, and either consciously or unconsciously passed down through privilege. The uncomfortable truth is that the white race is the most violent and oppressive force of nature on earth. My worry is that whatever governments do to tinker with institutional racism, it is so ingrained in the fabric of British society that it is too late to do anything about it. And from the world cinema in Heron Hill to our own little cinema here in SW1, Monroe joins us now. Thanks for joining us and for your take. Is Britain a deeply racist society? We, we're, we live in a society where we won't even talk about it. So um, until we actually start really, we've only just really started talking about modern day racism. We, when we talk about racism, we're always, you know, either talking, sorry to bring up what you talked about, but we're either comparing to America, which is wholly, wholly different. The history is very, very different. We celebrate the empire here, but the empire has a horrible history for people of color, but we have a multicultural society. So there's this um, imbalance, and especially when it comes to education, this, this the whole system needs to change. But well, let, let me look at education. Sorry. Let's look at the figures on education. 33% of white kids go to university or further education. 37% mm -hmm. of black kids go to university mm -hmm. or further education. 67% of Indian kids go to university or further education. 76% of Chinese kids go to university or further education. Where's the racism in that? I'm talking about how people's history and his, how people's But I'm talking about is. now and, and the chances about, of young children. Yeah, but children. I'm not talking about their... But um, what's wrong with these figures? I'm about to tell you. I'm not talking about their academic performance. I'm talking about how we are taught about each other. If black kids aren't being taught about their histories, if we're being taught, you know, that white history is paramount, um, that's essentially feeding into a white supremacist na narrative. We can't be taught teaching kids that white is the default that white people's history is the sole history of this country. We, become, we need to be talked about. We need to be taught about black contributions and other contributions of other right. cultures but, within society. But for most people, what racism is and what they'd like to improve is the chances of people getting on regardless of the colour of your skin. That's not, just, that's not just racism, though. I'm talking about no, the mental health. But it's health. still quite an important thing. And these figures would suggest that as a country, we're doing reasonably well. No, that's, uh, not, that's facts and figures. Uh, but you think, yeah, well, facts and figures are important. But you think, I think it goes deeper that we that. are irredeemably racist, don't you? What, this, this society? Quite yeah, so, I yeah. do. I do. Unfortunately, I do. I think that Britain, the success of Britain, is literally based on racism. And do you think we're irredeemably sexist as well? 100%. But do you but if you take something like gender I think until, we are making advances in terms of gender get pay. All men smashing down the patriarchy. We are, are going to be on that page. So I think yes, we I I'm not we can make progress. I, I think we can make progress and we can combat it. But if it's but irredeemable it's it, you can't make progress. I mean it's fighting human nature and humans are flawed. You seem I, but you but you you humans are flawed. But you, you seem to think that white people yeah. are uniquely evil. I didn't say that. I but didn't that... say that individual people are unique. Well, you, I'm no, talking about society. No, 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 no. You said the whites white are the most, the most violent and oppressive, and oppressive force of people. nature on Earth. Well, yeah. That's what you said in your film. And if you're going to go back so that to, would seem to me that statistics point that out too. Really? Well, yes. the Chinese were massacring Chinese and other races long before they'd ever met a white person. Attila the Hun wasn't white. It's the same in the subcontinent, if you go back hundreds of years as well. The genocide in Rwanda was yeah. black on black. So is the, so the, is the Congo, uh, which is the rape capital of the world. These, are really, they've, these things have got nothing to do with white people. 85% of whites in this country feel they belong to Britain. 84% of Asians. 81% mm -hmm. of black people. Mm -hmm. It's not clear that non-white people in this country feel the way you do.
welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I went to this bloody course today, communicating in a bloody, with the service users in a bloody modern world. And I've walked out halfway through. I'm not chowing down on that crap sandwich any longer. I do not care if I lose my job over this. It is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Telling me how I can sit. Oh, legs together, pancaking my bloody testicles. So I feel faintly nauseous all the time. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Honestly, it is pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I'm a man. There's nothing wrong with that. I've got a bloody meat and two veg. I've got a package between my legs. It's fine. There's nothing to be ashamed of. That's a woman. She's got a bloody lady garden and dirty pillows. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, granted, it can be difficult to tell now with a bloody little emo smurfs and stuff. But they'll tell you. Just ask them what they identify with. Otherwise, everyone's going to be a bloody it. Just to please an obnoxious few people who are too ugly to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's where it all comes from, I tell you. She had a face like a monkey's arse. Her mouth was the anus. Farting out his dirty, obnoxious views into the world that the rest of us just have to chow down on. Well, I'm not going to be that man anymore. I'm not going to eat that shit sandwich any longer. Madness, you've got no idea what it's like out in the real world. But I'm working with 80-year-old and 90-year-old men and women. Don't call it gender-neutral language. They want to be called pet and love and stuff. It makes their bloody day. You've got no idea what goes on in the real world. Sitting there with your bourgeoisie, pen-pushing, cushy roll. Shit goes down in my job. Literally. You, feminist bent, could not handle it. I'm not naming any names before you start getting all bloody litigious. But you know who you are. And you can kiss my hairy ass. I do not care if I lose my job. It's worth it. Just not to eat this crap anymore. Idiot. Ha <laughs> ha